Now that we've analyzed all the data, what does it mean? Welcome back to our series on how to write the perfect math SBA. My name is Mr. Matt and today we're going to be looking at how to write the discussion and the conclusion. Now your discussion is worth two marks. You get one mark for your statement of findings being clear and another mark for your statement of findings following from the data that you've collected. What does all of that mean? Well, you want to make sure that it is clear and that kind of ties in with your overall presentation like your grammar and so on. Next, you want to make sure that it follows from the data collected and this is very, very important. It's a pretty big deal, especially when writing your SBA. Let's say that you were doing an SBA on the most popular shoes at your school. From your presentation and your analysis, you found that the most popular shoe was Nike, right? But then in your discussion, you go on to say something like, I think a lot of students prefer Clarks. That, this, that statement doesn't come from what you found in the SBA. So that means it would not be following the data that you've collected. So you have to really, really make sure that that is satisfied. And you know, the thing about it is that we, I see this a lot sometimes where in students discussion, they go on and they start to make statements like the research tells you this and so on, so on. Again, it's not connected to what took place in the SBA. So your discussion doesn't have to be this lengthy episode. It can be straight to the point and following the things that you found from your presentation and analysis. So for example, if you're doing an SBA on statistics, then your discussion would follow statements made from the data that you collected. If you're doing an SBA on some type of observations, like observing the growth of some plants, then your discussion is going to be talking about the observations that you made and the things that you found and what inferences or what you can draw from these statement or if you have some type of practical SBA then in the discussion is where you'd be making sense of all the calculations that you would have done in your analysis so you're just kind of talking about everything that has happened so far now enough talking from me let's mark someone's discussion together now the title of this SBA was what was the most popular or I think it was, what was the most preferred drink at a certain high school and here we see there, right, it was observed that the small delicious drink had the most overall sales. Um, drinks such as Small Bigger, Pepsi, iCool also garnered a great number of sales. Research observed that the, the above mentioned juices have the same price of $50. Uh, another part of the discussion talking about how students feel about the drink, which was tied to their presentation because that was a question they had asked in their questionnaire. And no, with the figures, the researcher can inform the bursars to buy more small, delicious drinks and so on and so on, which was also a part of their introduction. They wanted to inform the bursars how to spend the money on juice. So with this discussion, I am seeing the statement. The statement of findings are clearly stated. They even separated them in paragraphs. So I'm going to give them that mark. And it follows from the data collected. If I were to go back to the presentation, then you see that all of this came out in their tables and their graphs. So this one would get a total of two from me. Finally, your conclusion. We're at the end. This is a summary of everything you have done so far. The way I like to think about it is that you're answering your project title. Now it's worth two marks. And you get those two marks if it is based on findings and related to the purpose of the project. But you will only get one mark if it's related to the project in some way. So if, if in your SBA, your project title was an investigation into the most popular shoes at school, it was kind of like the one you mentioned earlier, then probably your conclusion would say something like the most popular brand of shoes is such and such because whatever, whatever, whatever factors you would have garnered from your research. 
So it shouldn't be long either. It should be it's probably ideally one or two sentences covering everything that you have done so far. It's not a hard and fast rule, but you know that that's how I like to think about. It. Let me give you a try. What if our SBA title said an investigation into the growth rate of plant A versus plant B? What do you think that conclusion would look like? I'm going to leave you to put that one in the comments. And if there's anything else you know about the discussion and the conclusion, you can put it in the comments for others to see. So that's it. This is the end of our series on how to write the perfect math SBA. I hope it helped. And if this is the first video that you're seeing, then we have some other videos in this playlist that you can check out on our YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe so you can get more content on everything math. Big up.